welcome Stacy say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I wanted to press good morning. it up. You wanted to press it up. What did you want to press up? This button. This button. button. Right then. You press the button. We're watching all clips of Britain's Got Talent dance troupe. Oh look. Hello buddy. Here he comes. Is he coming up? Got the whole fan. I'm having a very relaxing cuddle with the girl. <laughs> very nice. Wash them, wash, wash. Put your whole hands under, not just your thumb. Very nice, good girl. Good morning, everybody. Bon petit pastel bonbons. How are you today? Um, I am in the best mood. I'm filming this on Tuesday and last night Boris Johnson gave us his roadmap out of uh, restrictions and lockdown and all that sort of stuff. So I've woken up full of the joys of spring. Also, it's a beautiful blue day. Also, I'm wearing a new uh, jumpsuit. This is from ASOS and I just love it, ASOS Curve, just love it, I'll show you all later on in the video. I'm wearing some pretty jazzy earrings, it's like, it's a lot. I appreciate that this, this whole look, excuse all that mess in the background, and this, and the wet hair, it's a lot, but I'm just, just feeling full of sp sprightliness and joy today. Um, today's gonna just be a chilled, homey vlog. Obviously, we're not out of lockdown yet, so we are at home, Darcy is homeschooling, um, Pearly is purling. I need to get some sorting out done, do some tidying up. Um, there's lots of little bits and pieces I want to show you, so definitely a bit of a show and tell sesh. Um, just a good old fashioned homey vlog. First few bits I wanted to show you are jewellery bits. First of all, Claire's accessories centre. So I'm trying to do this without showing you how chipped and awful my nails are. Um, this really sweet necklace, is it going to focus? There we go. It says, like mother, like daughter on it. And I just thought that was so cute. It's for Mother's Day, um, but I'm going to give it to Darcy a bit sooner. I just thought that was really sweet. So thank you very much, Claire's Accessories. They sent um, a little goodie bag of stuff, but this was the one that really spoke to me and I wanted to share with you. Next up is something that I bid on and won and bought on eBay. And that is this Kirk's Folly bracelet. Now, Kirk's Folly is an American brand and they sell it on American QVC but you can't get it over here and it won't be to everybody's taste but I absolutely love it all. Look, chipped nails, there we go, they're out in the open. I just think this is so Louise-y. It's got little stars and hearts with jewels in and these little like pearly, pearly bits and moons and dazzly bits and this is just such, such a piece of me. Uh, look, a little fairy, um, yeah, so I bought that and I can't wait to wear that in the summer with floaty skirts and denim jackets and flip-flops and my little dazzling charm bracelet, so there's that. And then this box here is full of vintage jewellery that I've been collecting for quite a long time and Darcy and I are going to do a little project together, where are we, where we are going to sell vintage jewellery. Now I can't decide what we're going to do, I've already got a little space lined up in my friend Julia's vintage shop, you know my little vintage, I talk about it all the time, um, but I don't know if I'm going to sell jewellery in there or homewares, vintage homewares, so I might set up a little Etsy shop or an Instagram account or something, but Darcy is so into it, you'll see later on in the video. Um, I've got another batch of jewellery that I bought at um, online auction um, and we haven't opened it yet so we're going to go through it and like cherry pick the best bits. This is currently a box of best bits. Like, Look at these earrings. Look at those. If you would be interested in buying some vintage jewellery, some pre-loved jewellery, let me know. Um, be interested to gauge. You don't have to though, it's not really like, I'm not doing it specifically for the sprinkle of glitter audience, but I know that some of you will be into that kind of thing. Some of you won't, but that's okay. Um, there's some little gold hoops as well. Not real gold, gold toned hoops as well. They're in fashion now, aren't they? Not focused, there we go. They're quite fashionable now, I think. Um, yeah, so lots of lovely little bits. We'll, we'll go through some more later on, but I thought I would just show you all of those. Just on my way downstairs and I thought, oh yeah, this room needs a bit of a sort out today. I'm going to attempt to go through 
some of these books today and uh, clear some of them out because she doesn't really flick through the board books so much anymore so we might go through those in a bit. Right, we really really are going downstairs now. So we've come outside here sweetie. Oh, I do want to play with you so I just put the washing out I say washing the one thing I'm drying and we've thrown the trampoline out here as well I'm going to show you something now a bit different about our garden look at this you're going to make a cup of tea okay so this is where we used to have the hot tub but we have had it removed we had to have it taken over the house with a crane it had to go over there um what we want is let me go over here and then I can give you like a bit of an overview okay so this area here is going to be a seating area we're having the decking taken up and then we're having the same slabs as these except we'll jet wash these so they all will look matching going like this so where this juts out we're going to extend the patio join it up with here and cut that bit off so it all is flush we're going to finish painting the fence Liam got to here last year then he just had so much work on that we just never finished it so we're going to finish doing that so it will all be matching and then this will be a huge patio area with an adult section here because we get the sunlight all day because there's no shadow of the house there there's no water I'll sort it for you in a second um, and then over here will be like a kids area we're also going to get Okay, sweetie, I'll sort it for you in one second. Um, a trampoline, I've caved. All this time I've thought, no, trampoline will look so huge and an eyesore, but this is this garden is for all of our family and like half of our family are children. So we're gonna get them a trampoline. Um, and then just so nice to have the extra space down here. And then down I'm here, you're not cold. That's because you've got so much on. You said, I want a hat on. That's why you're not cold. Is Darcy coming out? Is she finished? You want a break now? Come outside if you like. Put a coat on. It's colder than you think it is. Nine degrees. With wet hair that feels a lot colder. Um, yeah, this is our like down the side bit which usually is a bit of a dumping ground. Um, but we've had a bit of a tidy but we need to sort out the table and stuff over there. Um, yeah, the reason we decided to let the hot tub go was because we didn't ever make a choice to have one. It was just here when we moved in. And it's really expensive to run. It was costing us over a thousand pounds a year to run and maintain. And although we used it quite a bit in the summer, we just didn't feel like that grand was a good use of a grand. Like we'd rather spend that putting it towards like a lovely holiday or the children's trampoline or something like that. So um, we decided to let that go. Are you sad that the hot tub's gone or are you excited for our new garden, Reno? Um, Yeah, I thought you would. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're that's what we're doing. I'm going to document it all on my home account on Insta, which is Louise Pentland Home, um, and I also have some pictures up of the trampoline before and after, and the crane of it going over the roof. If you're interested, that'll be linked below for you. It's a bit windy, isn't it? Yeah. Are you making? What are you making? Um, I'm just sweeping. Oh, you're just sweeping. Mind you, don't get yourself all soggy. Look at them. Honestly, these are the things that have got me through lockdown. You two. And the houses behind my house, one and two, have been built now. Do you remember all last summer it was just so noisy? It's a lot less noisy now, which is nice. And when our fruit trees bush up and when our neighbour's tree bushes up, I think that we won't really be able to see them. It's quite good. All right, if you dropped one. Dropped it, I have to leave it, don't pick it up off the floor. The birds will eat it. Birdies will eat it, Pearl, don't worry about that. They'll have a little snack, they'll like that, won't they? Are you just doing loops of the path? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's a little treat from my mum. Okay, I've not been on this since last summer. Here we go. Slip at the door. Watch out, Chloe. Watch out. She is such a funny mummy. Uh, no, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Bye, mommy. I will 
play with you outside. Oh, oh look. I think he wants to go. I think he's finished with no, his. He, he loves his cuddles, but I think that's enough now. No, Curly, does he love his cuddles? Yeah, he's yeah. done now. He's done. I love you. Although he's not running away. I know. Why does he come back for more? <laughs> <laughs> Silly old boy. Oh, nine glitter points if you can tell me in the comments which one this is. Little poopy. Oh, it's not a little poopy. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Come <laughs> right, well they were delicious bao buns because you like plain bao buns, don't you? Yeah. You yeah. love them, but you don't necessarily <laughs> like them, but sorry. I'm sorry. You're learning how to cook. <laughs> 35, two children learning how to heat up a bao bun. Um, right, get them drinks. Not my finest hour there, but if I'm honest, I never have a finest hour for cooking, ever. Pearly likes me to make faces out of her lunch. And so I just made this one with a smile and two eyes and a nose and some hair. But I've realised that, uh, and some yeah, cheeks. And, and some cheeks. Yeah, maybe these could be the cheeks, like this. There you go. Delicious. Just getting cheese. Yeah, well, a little bit of cheese with pearly. So, like so I had some pasta left over. Really nice, like charcoal vegetable mozzarella pasta that I made myself like pretty much from scratch and I just said to Darcy Darcy would you like some of that leftover pasta what did you say my love lovely teeth but what did you say I, I said it's too lovely to have why don't we savor it I feel like you're suggesting that you didn't no, like I it. Loved it you loved I it. Loved it so much it was lovely shall I get you some then I'm eating. Um, no, I'm fine. I'm eating. Oh, right. You're eating your cheese. Good girl. You're very diplomatic, Darcy. You'll do well in life. Hello. <laughs> um, the reason I've got you this angle is because I want to show you the table. You know how I was saying that we were um, setting up maybe a little like vintage thing or not really sure what we're going to do yet, are we? It's basically, we're probably going to have a shop and sell some of our stuff. Yeah, sell really beautiful vintage things. So, we bid on an online auction for a job lot of jewellery and it's come and we could only see a few pictures. So I think that a lot of it won't be good enough quality for our shops, but we think our shops, like we've got a fleet of shops, shops. Um, but I think that some of it will. That's kind of the gamble, I suppose. Like for example, I bought a job lot of rings on Facebook Marketplace. And although they're fun, I don't think that they're high enough quality. Hang on, is that focus? Um, I don't feel like they're high enough quality to sell. Hang on. I don't feel like they are high enough quality really to sell. Um, but if you do want them. I mean, they're good enough to sell. Obviously, someone sold them to me, but for the sort of stuff that we're going to be selling, I don't think it will, but we're going to, what we're going to do, give well, one of these to all of your friends, won't we? Yeah, one each if we have spare, yeah. we could maybe give them, like, have a couple and put them on for like 50p like a sale yeah good thinking so do you want to tip all of that out tip it out just here okay. so it's satisfaction. yeah tip it just out of the way yeah you're okay you're not in the way oh my goodness tip it over here there we go oh, oh that looks nice i'm the always one and then we've got more in here as well. yeah yeah you can you can you can oh, that one's and then, oh, so Can many treasures. Orange. You'd like the orange I one. I found this really pretty brooch. Would you? Um, this is really nice, actually. I thought this was going to be like a bit crappy plasticky, but that's actually really lovely. I um, like the colourings in that. Like, you know when you get those old coins? Very old as well. Sorry, Darcy. <laughs> Talking over you, it's very old. The clasp is old. Anyway, there you go, Pearly. You can hold on to that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Shall I zoom in on the... Um, on the jewellery. Oh, I just found something so pretty. Love you. It's purple. I'm trying to untangle it. Hang on. These are gorgeous. I'm gonna. Oh, look at this little koala. He hangs on a necklace. That's so that nice. That's quite cute. We should make piles of what we think is really good, 
and what we I think, think is like is not good enough to sell. That's a brooch. That is beautiful. That is so delicate as well. Look at that blue in there. That is stunning. Does anyone know anything about what that might be made of? That is gorgeous. I'm gonna get I'm gonna so do some close-ups. <gasps> this is so fun. That is gorgeous. I might keep that one actually because that's so pretty and the chain is really long. Yeah, I might clean that up and then keep that one actually. <laughs> So the problem is we're going to keep them all, aren't we? At that, and this. You want me to hold it? Yeah. Oh, that's a bit glitzy. And I've got this purple one. Hang so on. And the glitzy. Hang on, move your t-shirt out of the way because it's focusing on your t-shirt. That's a glitzy brooch. Oh, what's this? Something blue. That looks nice. Oh, here's the matching blue thing to it. So they're like earrings, I guess? Yeah, earrings. They're like, so if I put them on my finger... Mm -hmm. Lay your hand on the table. They are very beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know if they're old though. They look pretty modern to me. Yeah, so do I. So much pretty stuff. Ooh. I'm gonna sort through it and then make a little pile of all the things that I think are the best. through all the bits that we love can I see your hand please how gorgeous is this little ring wait a second whilst it focuses just lay your hand flat sweetie it's obviously a teeny tiny size because it fits on Darcy's little fingers but it's got these really beautiful roses carved into it um, these are all the little necklace pendants that we found that don't have chains on but I love the M M for mummy maybe and I really love this little koala guy that's so cute <laughs> These are the pieces that I wasn't so keen on. I'm not sure that we would do much with. I wasn't sure about this cross. It's not for me, but maybe it's for someone. I want to keep this for myself. I'll be quiet in a minute. I'll be quiet in a minute. And we've got this good old uh, Santa doing his business. Good old Santa doing his Santa business. This I would like to know a bit more about if anyone has any info. Look at these really old pearl pendant ones. They're a bit chipped though, so I'm not sure on those. These no. are so pretty. And we found... Yeah, I think we'll keep those because I don't, they don't look particularly vintage. I think they might be a bit modern. So and we'll I've have a look into those. On. You've got a necklace on. I really like... What was it? The, these matching? So we have these earrings. Yeah. But they match the necklace. They match this little necklace. It was a whole set that we found that we had a matching set. So that was really cool. Yeah. Um, I like this necklace. I don't tend to wear a lot of red. But I just thought it was really delicate. And that was lovely. Um, these little tiny cuff links here. Look at the detail on them, they're so pretty. I thought they were like... This little brooch, is that a wolf or a fox or... It's got like the body of a fox but then like the snout of like a pig. I don't know. Um, little cameo necklace here. Oh, so yeah, I'm really happy with this is. haul. We will let you know once we've sorted through, cleaned them up and put them somewhere. It won't be anytime soon. This is just like a funsies hobby thing that we're doing together. Um, Cause it'd be fun to spend the time together, won't it? And doing something we both really enjoy and teach you all about commerce and business. Commerce? Commerce. Commerce. That means like business, money, making money. Yeah. Making money, saving money, investing money, Daddy, all that good stuff. Eat a bit more chicken. And Pearl's gonna eat a bit more chicken. <laughs> Oh, you want me to say it to you? Okay. Pearly, can you eat a bit more chicken, please? Oh, you've eaten it all. <laughs> you got me, didn't you? And you say, you tricked me. You tricked me. <laughs> I asked my dad if he knew anything about this because my dad is a train geek and he has come through. Yes, it is in 1879 double fairly farley. 0440 tank that runs on the something narrow 
gauge gorge railway in wales i mean that's niche info is anybody really into trains oh that's so pretty okay i really am putting this down now i'll come back to this in a bit um we're gonna go upstairs play upstairs because we've been down here all morning oh what a nice angle such good lighting such nice angle vlogger of the year what's that why are we whispering that's a brooch is this a flattering angle i'm always a bit like conscious of my ghibli tummy i'll put bunny there sorry bun uh right so my plan was to go through the books a little bit because we have a lot of these board Do you want books. To read the story, baby. I'd like you to read me a story. Do you want to read me a story? I do this story. Yeah. My Little Mermaid. Yeah. Do you want to sit on my lap? Shall I read it to you? No, I'll read it to you. Do you want to sit on this chair and read it to me? Yeah. Come and sit here then. Bobby Mermaid. Come and go. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Right, you come and sit on the chair then. You can read it to me. I'm doing. Bunny hop. Okay. This is nice. Right, so that's not my mermaid. I was about to pack all these away thinking she didn't like them anymore. Are you going to read it to me? A version of the mirror. Mirror. Look at you, mermaid. Oh, I can see you. It's got a little mirror in, hasn't it? Uh, Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Should we start it from the beginning? I'm doing next to Yeah. Went on to the star. Very oh, short oh, star. She's got a star necklace. That's very soft. It's nice. My little tumble. Maybe I won't pack these books away. And once time there was a wound fish. My bag. Yes. <laughs> Oh, wow. wow. You've got a buzzy clown. That's so good. I just clown. Yeah. Don't I? Let me see. Very shiny. Should we show everybody at home? Show everybody. That's very nice, isn't it? That's very good. I don't think I will pack them away. I think I might get a few the springtime end. books out. The, the end. end. Because we sort of rotate them and I have some downstairs, like Poppy and Sam's Easter egg hunt. That's a nice. Bedtime. Spring one. Bedtime. Um, who's out. going to sleep? You. Me? Have well, I got to go to sleep? All yeah. the tales of Peter Rabbit. Hang on a minute. We've got two. Maybe one of them's yours and one of them's Darcy's. Two tales of Peter Rabbit. I only need one. Bedtime. Kelly, I'm just going to do something to the camera and then I can do pretend bedtime sleeps, okay? Yeah, baby, you do. Oh, you want me to go to sleep? Yeah. Okay. It's morning. Morning. Now. You can watch morning. your film. You can watch your telly now. Thank you. In fact, I am going. Oh, Dad has updated me on the uh, on the um, train brooch. I said, "So a pretty old train then?" And he said, "Yes." And a rare one too. We could do a granddad and granddaughter trip to see it. Do you want to go and see some trains with granddad? Not um, today, another day. Yeah, another day with you. I'll come too. That sounds good. Um, I wanted I, to... Um, uh, your daddy. Don't I? You like your daddy? Uh, I like your daddy. You like my daddy. What's my daddy called? Rosie. He's not called Rosie. Yes, he is. It's called... Steve or Grandad. Uh, Please don't tread on that book. We don't step on books. Thank you. And no. Sam's got Steve. Has she? Yeah. That's good. Um, okay. So I wanted to talk to you about World Book Day. They reached out and asked Stronger me to speak to you. This is not sponsored or an ad. They haven't uh, paid me to talk yeah, about it. They haven't gifted know. me anything to talk about it. Um, just, just something here. I'm passionate about. Like Perlis's cushion. Um, and you know, I write books. I've written uh, five now, and well, I've written six because my I've finished the draft of my other one last week. Yes, so it's not quite finished. Let's say five and a half. Um, and obviously, I really like kids' books, and I really like kids. So uh, I thought I would tell you some of the things that they would love more people to know. 
I've got some notes here. World Book Day is on the 21st of March. Um, they have four campaign and mission statements this year, which are World Book Day makes sure every child in the UK and Ireland has a book of their very own, and sometimes this is their first book of their own. Spending just 10 minutes a day reading with a child makes a big difference to their future success. This one's interesting to me. I would love to know more about that. There's probably information I could find. Um, because I love reading to the girls, mostly because it's just like an easy parenting win. Like you don't have to do anything except just sit there and read what's on the page and they feel like you spent loads of quality time and you've just read a book. So I much prefer doing that to like playing an imaginary game and such with them. Um, but I didn't know... I knew it was good for them, but I didn't know that it makes difference to their future success. I wonder what sort of difference. Um, discover reading for pleasure. World Book Day makes books and reading a fun part of every child's day. Yeah, kids love being read to and reading. Talk about books together. Read with your friends and family to make books more fun, memorable and magic. This is especially good if you have these books that like, there's lots on the page. So things like this, I would say to Pearl, can you see, can you find the cat? and then she would like come and look, obviously it's there, but it really makes her look at the story more. Um, I love Usborne books. I have to say gifted, because I get gifted some Usborne books, and I don't know if this is one that's been gifted or one that I've bought, I'm not sure, because um, we have a lot of Usborne books, and the, um, are these Usborne books? These, yeah, these are actually Usborne ones as well, the That's Not My Zebra. These are really nice to talk about with toddlers. Darcy is probably a bit too old for all of these now. She doesn't even go for like the sort of Julia Donaldson like storybook types. She wants a little chunky sort of proper read. Kind of like, do we even have any in here? Are they all in her room? Uh, she's got them all in her room, but this one I think is just a large one. Like Darcy likes the David Walliams. She likes that, this sort of book now. Um, and you know, we don't really tend to talk about them because she just reads before bed, but maybe I should like chat to her a bit more about what she's reading. I will leave a link to World Book Day below if they have a link, I'm sure they do. Uh, again, not sponsored, just sharing it because I think it's interesting. Um, and I would love to know if you read with your children or if you, uh, if you don't have children, do you read? What's the best book you've read lately? If it's one of mine, extra points. Um, am I going to sit and sort through this? Probably not. Probably not. In fact, I've made it worse because I've got books out now. I'm probably just going to sit here um, and play. Or while she's just playing very nicely. I might have a little scroll on my phone. Sorry, everybody. I jinxed it earlier by saying spring has sprung. Um, it has not. Look at the tree going crazy in all the bushes. Spring has not sprung. I'm going to just be really honest with you. I've got to the point in the vlog where I don't really know what else to share with you this morning i had such energy this is this is like lockdown life for me i it's like i forget what it's like every day like every time i go to sleep i wake up quite positive i'm like yes new day new start i always find a reason to be positive about something and then it gets to this time of day which is like three and it's like i've got um, it doesn't help that i'm feeling really hormonal at the moment although i don't even know if i'm feeling hormonal or just like the world is making me feel a bit like her. Eh. Um, lockdown life. It gets to you, it gets under your skin. Um, I'd love to talk about this more, but all I would be saying is I feel like there. <laughs> so that's not really much of a chat, is it? Not meaning to moan or like have a pity party. I don't feel sorry for myself at all. Just this is how it is, isn't it? Like you can wake up with all the optimism in the world and then Darcy's not finished her homeschool yet no. okay she will she will nearly be finished it then she can play something. you found something oh what have you found eggs. eggs little Easter eggs yes I'm gonna do a little Easter egg hunt with those they're can fun I aren't they yeah you can open them I can. to follow on from that I've decided that I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself and if it gets to the point where I feel like I'm almost faking it for the sake of a vlog, I'm, I'm just going to stop the vlog, have you? I'm going to just sort of like say my goodbyes, but we'll see how we go. I might sometimes I pick up a bit. I think it's that sometimes I watch other people's like day in the lives and they just 
seem to be you like go and go and go and go all day. And you I, made these. I didn't make them, sweetie. Someone else made them. <laughs> um, yeah, they just go and go. Them. I don't know who made them. I'm just going to talk to the camera for one second. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, they seem to have such stamina. I don't know if there's something wrong with me. Probably is because, you know, I'm not very healthy, so maybe that's what it is. But I just don't have the stamina to be, like, really up and jolly and, like, yes, 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 all day. Um, oh, I think I've just did a bit of, like, a trough. At the moment. Peaks and troughs, peaks and troughs. Um... Good. I'm glad I shared that because it's a real moment of the day and I don't ever want you to watch these videos and be like, wow, Louise is a superwoman. Um, I'm sure that's what you all think. I'm sure you all are like, oh, Louise, which, <laughs> Louise who? Louise Pentland, superwoman, domestic goddess, like incredible, incredible energy all day long. Oh yeah, that Louise. I don't want anyone to think that. <laughs> uh, <sighs> right, I found my mojo a little bit now. I've got my worky bits done. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> I didn't see you at all. <laughs> Dallas is finished home school. We're gonna have a dance. <laughs> Put boo, that made me jump as well. Right, what do you want to play? Outfit. What song should we have? Oh, that hurt my outfit. It's all my vibes. What song would you like, Pearl? Not um, the fart song. <laughs> Not the fart song. This fart song. No. Quick, suggest another song. Let's go to the fire. Okay. I'm going to the first one. She did say, she did say one first. Alexa, play the fart song. <laughs> right. What song would you like? This girl is on fire. Okay, are you going to ask or shall I? I'll do it. Alexa, play this girl is on fire. Sorry, we've got Alexa. Girl on fire. I love this song, don't you? Give me my necklace. I said you love this song. Yes. Nice dancing, Pearly. That's nice. Beautiful. I just do this in the background. I'm not very high. This is all I do. She's going to her dad's now. Oh, that's such a nice cuddle and kiss. That's lovely. Oh, she loves you too, but it's not for long. I'll see you soon. You say have a lovely time, Darcy. Have a lovely time, Darcy. I will. You too. <laughs> Just put some food in the oven for Pearly and a really fun game. I like to play and by fun I mean not fun, but let's let's call it fun. Uh, is I set the Alexa to do a certain timer and then I think right can I clear everything up in before that timer ends because I tell you bloody what I know how to rock and roll kids um what would you like a grape a little grape um so by the magic of editing one two ta-da just had the most lovely delivery of flowers here. Look at all of these. They've got their little socks on. Look at these. These are so pretty. These were so kindly sent by my publishers. Here's the little note. Dear Louise, congrats on bringing mum life into the world in paperback. Thanks so much for doing the press and events and for being such a good egg. Hee <laughs> we heart you. Beth, Karen and everyone at Bonnier. If you're watching Beth and Karen and everyone at Bonnier, I heart you as well. These are so beautiful and they have cheered me right up. I'm still in a good mood thanks to these. I'm going to put them all in a vase. Let's call Daddy and see if he's nearly home. Oh, thank you very much calling me poopy. 
Cheeky little monkey. Welcome to the EE voicemail. I'm sorry, but the person you've called is... Here are my lovely flowers from Bonnier. So thank you very much, Beth and Karen. They're lovely. Um, Liam rang back and he's been held up at work. They get, you know, something comes in, he has to deal with it. So um, looks like he's going to be there this evening. So uh, I thought that I was going to get some work time. Yes! <laughs> um, it's, it's almost bedtime for you, missus. I'm not you sound very tired. Uh, normally, Daddy does the no, bedtime routine. No. But... <laughs> no, you don't. I know. I'm not tired. Aren't you? Are you ready for bed? No. Are you ready for a nice milky and for bed? Uh, no. No. Um, I had got these out defrosting. We have these in the freezer. Let me show you. So I did have these out for Liam and I, and they've been defrosting all day, so I don't want to put them back in the fridge. So I'm going to cook them both, and then I'll just put one in the fridge cooked, if you know what I mean. Um, has anyone had these before? Esther recommended them to me. She was like, darling, this is Esther, by the way. That was fortuitous. Darling, they're incredible. You'll have to get them. Also, just notice, look, all of this goes. This is not an ad for M&S, but flipping should be. Um, so I'm going to put Pearl to bed and cook, cook my ready meal for two, but eat it just for one. Um, my battery is really flashing at me now, so I think I will leave it here. I was going to, like, talk to you whilst I ran a bath and all of that sort of stuff, but... Um, but I'll talk to you on stories and I feel like I've just sort of plateaued today. I wanted to talk more about like the year we've had and how I've been feeling but my battery really is dying. It just died then I'm getting the last juices out. I love you very much. I'll write more in the caption in the uh, description below. I love you. Thank you for watching. Ta-da! I've swapped over for another battery. This one is also flashing but I should be able just to get a little goodbye in. I couldn't bear to leave it like <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to making much more fun videos for you. Not long now, just gotta hang in there um, and brighter days are coming for sure. But I hope that this little like snippet into our life brightens your day. Um, leave a friendly comment and I will try to get back to you. Love you lots and lots and see you next week, Sunday at 9 or tomorrow on IGTV at 9am. See you soon. Bye!